So you don't have a picture of how it looks when you found your injured dog. No, Your Honor. I believe okay. the fence was repaired. Okay, so then the, all repaired. of this is useless. Okay. Because I can't tell from these pictures whether one of your little dogs went onto their property and then came back. Because certainly from these pictures, a 70-pound dog couldn't get in. If this was open, they could have, but that's not what I'm seeing in your photographs. Do you understand? I understand, Your Honor. Okay. I good. believe the fence had been repaired before I came home. What you believe is not relevant to me. I understand that. And you asked for the animal control report. I'd like to see it. I have my version of the report as well, if you would like I'm to I'm going to read that in a well. minute. Well, at least this version of the report indicates that the animal control officer actually observed your dog breaking the fence. That's incorrect. You don't know that. How could you tell? How could we you say? Never, we were how never you, informed. I, I don't care what you were informed about. It says, it said, when the animal control officer was there, several sections of the fence were old and weakened. While we were inspecting the fence, a medium-sized black dog at the, and crossed out name, began tearing at the fence and broke a slat when he observed the complainant's own dog near the fence. You have a medium-sized black dog? That is correct. Right. You don't have any animus towards this animal control officer. He doesn't even know who you are. You want to show me your version of the I, report? I do, yes. Good. I just read you this version of the yes. report. Okay. This was left on my doorstep. What? Yes. That's when animal control came nine days later, mind you. I, just a second. What I'm telling you is, on the second, the animal control officer came to speak to him the day after the incident, opened up your brain, observed your dog breaking through the weakened slats. Do you understand what the animal control officer said? I do. Fine. Whether he left this on your door nine days later and whether he left it on your door the same day and you, your husband, or wherever else lived there ripped it off, I don't know, because that's what people do. Please contact us about your dog. I but don't it know has how nothing many... on there that mentions anything about the dog bite or anything. You want to read the report? I understand do, do... what you're saying. All your dog's licenses are expired. That is correct. They Why? have been fully they have Why? been fully licensed since this day. That would be my fault. I work 60 hours a week and I hadn't had time to get to it. So I hadn't relapsed. I don't care. Okay. Can I have the vet bill, please? Then I'm going to have a discussion with you, Mr. Rose, because I don't think that you are without fault. I agree, Your Honor. Why do you think you're at fault, Mr. Rose, at least partially? The fence is old, and it has been... I've been repairing it. I have not been able to repair all of it. Um, budget is, is a limiting factor to me. So I repaired it as much as I could. In fact, the weekend that this happened, I had repaired, I'd put about $200 into repairs on the fence that very weekend where the fence was broken through, where we believe the dog came through this time. I hadn't had uh, money to get to that part of the fence yet. That's not the only reason why I think you're at fault. I think you're at fault because, according to you, there was a prior incident involving another of your small dogs. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. That you didn't make a big fuss over, according to you. You took care of that dog yourself, and you didn't bother the defendants with that bill. But there was a suggestion in your complaint that you believed that their dog was responsible for that injury as well. We ha I have a witness that saw it happen, Your Honor. Even more damaging for you, because despite that fact, you kept the doggy door in place in your house, which means that despite the fact that you may not have had any cash on hand to adequately repair the fence, very easily could have taken out the doggy door until you had the money. And you were on notice that it happened before. You knew that your little dogs could go outside and her big dogs had the capacity to hurt them. And if it were my dogs, my small dogs, I would have closed off the doggy door and walked my dogs on a leash. And the people in my house wouldn't have been lazy and taken the two little dogs out because the two little dogs aren't smart enough not to run over to... That's what they do. That's what dogs do. Exactly. The grown-ups who were in charge of taking care of them, especially when there are small ones and big ones who live next door and know that they could be trouble, you have to keep them safe like you have to keep a toddler safe.